Hey guys, thank you for being so patient um, while I try to get caught up on my video editing. I know I'm still in February and today is like March 20 something. So I am trying to compile the videos um, in shorter contents to get you caught up. So we'll be back on track. Enjoy. Good morning guys. Happy, what is today? Wednesday. Um, I'm headed to, it's nine o'clock, headed to the bank. Um, a lady from our church is going to be cleaning the house today, praise Jesus. Um, it is in desperate need of a deep clean. So we pretty much got everything organized. To, you know for her to be started or whatever um, except for our room I want to try to work on it when I get back uh, just trying to get stuff halfway organized so like when she's having to move stuff around or dust um, you know she don't have to like ask like hey is this trash or is this whatever like um, she'll already know so that's what I'm currently doing. Um, we went to Walmart and got all the cleaning stuff last night because um, she just kind of does this on the side. And you know, everybody's house is different on what kind of cleaning stuff they want to use and don't use. So I'm okay with that because our other cleaning people, it was never like strong or anything, but I can see where if someone had like asthma or you know really hard time with scents um that it would be a problem so i rather my house smell like the stuff that i normally clean with than something that could be because like you know if you go get an off-brand pine saw tried it before smells horrible absolutely horrible so i rather my house smell like the stuff that i clean with than to guess what they're going to be cleaning with so I didn't have my do my next grow collaborative order in time because you're able to um, change your date of when you want it shipped because it's like automatic um, based on what's in your cart and so uh, yeah I didn't I just moved it till March because I'm like it's not gonna get here in time so it's no sense in me like rushing to get the stuff um so i'll do what i gotta do for right now and we got a vacuum i'll show it to you guys when i um get back home i'm just trying to hurry I, I, the bank doesn't open till nine our credit union so and it doesn't have like a drive-through that opens an hour early you actually have to go in so i had to wait i've been up since five i'm gonna call my doctor because my kidneys are hurting really bad still having the burning and you know um tomorrow no yeah tomorrow is like a full five days of me being on Cipro and I don't notice a difference like yesterday I got up took a shower had to lay back down and then I was up for like maybe three hours working on track stuff and then um we went to uh Walmart it was like after six o'clock or whatever that we went to Walmart and um it's just it's been a struggle like I, I guess I'm just like so aggravated because like when you feel good for you know like woohoo get to do all this stuff and then it's like bam dead your tracks um that you don't feel good so uh, yeah I'm just having a hard time bouncing back from this. So I just think now it's time for the antibiotic to be changed to something different at this point. All right, so I'm done at the bank. So this guy that works there, like for some, like we had the same people for like some years 
and then they started you know getting promoted and going to different branches so they constantly have all these new people and so this guy i had him the last time that i went in there he is so freaking rude because their thing is like okay you know you stand there and then they'll say i'm you know i can help the next member in line that's their thing so you know some branches have the little light to pop up to say you're available so you're not disturbing them and he just kind of looks at you like like are you ready kind of thing and i'm thinking to myself you know what you're such a freaking butthole and then it's like he you know gives me the balance for the cash because i did a track deposit and then he was like well would you like two separate receipts i was like no i just put it on you know one receipt and um and then like when he shows it to me so i said did the checks come out to this amount and he said he shoved pointed to this and i'm like well that's not the right total and so then he grabs them out and he was like yeah it's right but i'm thinking to myself well why does it say a different amount in than what <laughs> y'all i'm like i think i'm gonna have to report him because i'm confused on what just happened with the transaction um so i'm gonna let my husband um kind of well i'm gonna call back and talk to customer service and ask them to tell me the total amount that was put in in checks today because he is just like arrogant and like can i do, can i do something else yes now i need you to move x amount from this account to this account is that your um business account um did are the numbers from my business account matching what i just told you no it's my personal account because when you give them your access number at our credit union they pull up all accounts associated with you so when i go in and i say okay i told him i said when i got there i said, I have two separate you know types of transactions one's going to be for my business account and one's going to be for my personal account so why would you ask me is it from my business account when you have to give them the last four of the account and that don't even match like really dude so yeah i'm definitely gonna be calling i was gonna go get a biscuit but i'm gonna just try to figure something else out to eat um because i gotta get this antibiotic in but i did make an appointment um my doctor oversees this second clinic but he can't see me till april in his normal clinic so i'm gonna have to go to like some type of walk-in urgent care type place um to be seen which i have no beef with that but like when i went to this urgent care like he gave me six of the uh peridiums and i'm like if i'm taking these three times a day so for two days then what like I don't have time for that you know what I'm saying so um yeah I'm just kind of aggravated that I have to even go again and be seen and pay more money when this isn't working I'm nauseated but I can't take any of my you know nausea pills because it messes up with Cipro so I don't really know. I started to cancel the house cleaning. I was like, every time I try to get the house cleaned, I, I, I'm never feeling good. I'm like, you know what, devil? We even do this. Because we're going to get this house cleaned no matter what. So. All right, guys. So. It is clean. I'm so excited. She did a really good job. Um, I rearranged some stuff in the living room. I took the console table out of the foyer. Can you see it's a glare? So I moved it. It was on this wall right there, but I moved it to the living room. I'm gonna show you. So it's over. Put it under the television. I'm ordering a thing to hide the cords. Um, my little plant that you. Thingy. I moved from over there to right there and it just kind of ties the living room to
together a little bit more. I don't know, the lighting is horrible, but I like it. Yeah, better. she did um, every part of the house except for the Easter's room and the office. So I'm gonna have her come. I told her once a month, um, unless we have guests coming in town, then you know it'll be like twice in a month. So it just feels good to have everything clean and dusted, and <sighs> you can breathe. <laughs> so I'm about to lay down. I canceled my appointment. Um, cause she didn't leave until like 2.30. She got here at 10. That's how long it takes to clean the house for the rooms that she did clean. And it would have probably been three if she done Easter's and the office. So that's a lot of space to try to clean. But, um, I'm going to lay down because I was just, just in pain and didn't feel good. Like driving to this other location, which is like downtown. Good morning guys, happy Thursday. So, we're heading, me and Easter, we're going to get our hair done. Um, it's been raining today. So her point was at 11, but my friend, she's pregnant, very pregnant. Um, she's due in April, but she started feeling really lightheaded. So she asked if we could push it back to 11.30. I'm gonna stop by the gas station real quick and get her. Um, she asked for like a big bottle of water. I'll probably get her some Sprite and mints and stuff, a little snack package. Um, pregnancy is very difficult, <laughs> so totally understand. I thought we could come tomorrow if that was better, but she said she was starting to feel better. Um, once we get done, I have to go to um, what am I thinking? I have to go to Sam's Club. Did I even put that in here? I don't know. literally just got $17 worth of stuff and I don't even know what the heck I spent $17 on. <laughs> I got two tall water bottles like the cold water it was like a dollar fifty got her a Gatorade I got her some peppermint some chips some Oreos um, Ritz crackers and some fruit cups. Say good morning, Easter. Morning. So that's what we're doing right now. All right, All right guys, so we're done. <laughs> I just got out of Michael's and get all the way to the car. Don't have the keys. Mm -mm. <sighs> Brain fog is so real. I think what happened, I normally clip them on my ringlet purse and it fell in the buggy and I didn't take the buggy out and didn't think about it until like I got to the car. So the struggles. Um, so I decided to let her do the, like the little ponytail, but I still got um, the ends curled and Easter got her like going, hold your head down. Kind of like going to like a little bun. Now. I have to go and get something to eat for her. It's 2.45. Good morning, guys. Happy Friday. Hello. What is that? Oh, is she moving? No, she's not. Oh. So, we've been, it's 9.30. We left the house at like 8 something. We been to Walmart. Now we're heading to the bank. And then I have to meet my brother at 11. 
in Alabama. Busy, busy day today. We have um, that track fundraiser. I have to be there at like four. And then I have to rush home now to make some signs that I, I mean, we were gonna do it last night, but um, by the time we got finished at the one athlete's basketball game, it was raining and then we couldn't get over. Michael offered to just turn around and get to Dollar Tree, but I was just like, I'm not worried about it because it was raining. But I probably should have done it last night. So I just wanted to pop on and say good morning to everyone. Hope everyone's day is starting off very well. And I will come back a little later. Hey guys, so I'm heading to Alabama and I'm so behind. It's like 1049. I'm supposed to meet my brother at 11. My GPS is telling me it's gonna take me to 1130. All right guys, so we are downtown to this event. And when I say these people have none of their, you know what together, and it's like, me and Michael are running to put cones out to block entrances that already have people in the parking lot because it started at two, even though we can't come till five. So I'm like, what the heck is going on? So, and it's Mardi Gras. It did not like, no, I thought the parade started tomorrow. It starts tonight. So there's Mardi Gras people. You can't see all of the they, the floats were just there but they started going i guess to line up but it is pretty chaos chaos and i don't have my marijuana so not happy because <laughs> i needed the pain jesus i'll come back so tired it's like 9 45 we left the ballpark at like 8 45 maybe um i had to go to walmart to take the ink back because i got the wrong ink when we went to walmart this morning i didn't know until i put it in the machine and it was like error please check cart cartridge placement and i'm like what then I saw it didn't have 902, it had 920. So I was dyslexic this morning. <clears throat> I can't even talk. Good morning, guys. Happy um, Saturday. <laughs> so up, it's 8 o'clock, heading to day two of the fundraiser at the baseball park. There is a parade again today. And I've forgotten my jewelry. I gotta turn around. Oh, Lordy. Be out there from whenever I get there till about 12, like 12, 15 or so, because we have a parent meeting um, at 1.30. The other pro coaches are doing practice at noon and the gas light is on. I'm not stopping to get gas right now. I just don't have the energy to deal with gas. So it's just a busy, busy day. I got to get my marijuana. I'm glad I forgot my stuff because I forgot. Yesterday I was so miserable because of stuff that we had to do that we didn't think or know we had to do. And we would have had more people on the first shift if we would have known that. Um, with those cones and stuff, but it is what it is. I'm so tired and hot and butterfly rashy and my husband's like, go sit down, your butterfly rash. And I'm like, why does my face still do that? Comment below if you have fibromyalgia and you still get a rash. You gotta pop the tire. Big truck that don't know where he's going. Oh, Jesus. 
Jesus, car wrecks. Oh, Lordy. People driving crazy because they drunk. They trying to get ready for Mardi Gras. God help. All right, guys. I'll come back. All right, guys. So, we're done at the meeting. Done at the fundraiser. So tired. I know I'm a shade darker than what I was. Um, I'm extremely tired. I'm extremely hungry. I wanted some Filipino food, but it's like way on the other side of town and once we got out all that Mardi Gras traffic I was through um, so my son decided to move out of his father's house today and that was kind of like stressful because my son texted me last night and said hey just let you know a problem my phone is probably going to get taken um, so if you try to call me and I don't answer, that's why. So I already knew because my son has a responsibility. You know, we brought him and his dad a car. Um, but his bills for, you know, he doesn't actually pay the car note. Um, so he pays for his insurance, his phone, and a part of the cable bill because the internet bill. Because otherwise his dad was like, we don't need the internet. You know, we only have it because you do gaming and that's what you want. So that's like $350 that he pays. Mind you, he has only one class, high school class. And then he's off to go to work. But he doesn't want to work like extra shifts or extra hours. And so he switched from his old job to this job and he gave away an hour like one day he gave some hours away to somebody that didn't get hours and his dad was like that's not your problem and you got stuff that you got to pay but what happens is i guess we're both guilty i don't really bail him out that much like i'll give him money every blue moon but like his dad will say oh well you know you're not oh you don't have the money or he'll take the stuff away and then give it right back so like my son has never like learned you know when it's gone it's gone but you know his dad was like look i'm tired of you know bailing you out you gotta learn because he keeps he was so hell-bent of moving out um when he graduates and we were like look if you have the opportunity not to be in any kind of debt to stay home go to school and you know do it that way because god knows i if I could have still been at home and not got married at 18, I would have been there. So, um, you know, I told I told his dad this morning when I talked to him, you know, he was like telling me everything that was going on. And um, his dad was just like, you know, I'm kind of like over it because like he was trying to explain to him, like, even though you, you know, he only gave him like $160 and um, his dad doesn't even put the money towards the bill but his dad puts the money in my son's savings account so when he graduates his car will be paid off in april because his dad makes like triple payments his car knows like a hundred and something dollars but his dad will make extra payments so that way his car is paid off in less than a year so the money that was saved up his dad was going to just give it to him so he wouldn't have to worry about anything so I don't want people to be like, well, you know, that's a lot of responsibility. No, it's not. He's 18. They have to learn. I've worked since I was 14. I knew the responsibilities of what I had to do and what I had to pay. So he, um, Jericho's dad got home and Jericho had left and packed all his stuff and left a note saying, you know, I'm going to, I'll move it out. I'm sorry. I'm going to still finish, you know, school, da, 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 da. And I'm just like, I think kind of know certain things are coming. And I really, I mean, it, it kind of like hit me as a mom because I'm like, you want to know where, who are you staying with? Where are you going to be at? Because this world is crazy as we know it. But at the same time, he's going to have to realize like, it is not what you think it is out here. You know, you're 18 and you have to have responsibilities. So he just called me and was like, he's at this friend's house or whatever. And supposedly the friend's not going to charge him any. I was like, okay, keep thinking that. He was like, well, I've already emailed my counselor because he was like, I can just finish up the last three months um, virtual with virtual school. I was like, okay. Mm -hmm. Like, 
you know, I just told him, I was like, you really need to call your dad. I don't want to talk to him because I don't want to get yelled at. I said, you know what? That's life. Sometimes you have to get yelled and screamed at for you to understand what the heck is going on. So I guess he thought I was going to be like, oh my God, I need you to go back and beg him. Like, I'm not going to beg you. I just pray. Like after I hung over with his dad, I was just like, Lord, I gave him to you when he was a baby. My dad, you know, did that. Grandma was present. My mom was present. And I was like, you just keep him covered in the blood because I can't stress myself out because you think you're grown. And you're going to get a real rude awakening. And you better pray that your dad will allow you to, to, to come back. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just a lot. So, that is my day. Eventful, tiresome, and I'm just like so drained, beyond drained. So, guys, I'm home. Before I get in the shower, I'm going to show you um, my friend that does my hair is having her second uh, child and she's having a little girl and I ordered this thing off of Etsy with the baby's name on it and I'm also show you some flowers that I'm going to be doing um, a DIY um, with that I got from Michaels so I have to go to Hobby Lobby but of course they're closed tomorrow and I don't feel like going there today to get the letter but it turned out really cute so her name is Lauren and turned out really good. I didn't get it painted because I really didn't know like the shade of pink for her room, but it turned out really good. 